it's a bit like taking you know somebody who's a tamanga and trying to put them in the corporate world so you see like, like i've said mm. to me peanuts are like my kids <laughs> I, I have a what, just what are your thoughts yeah but i think my opinion might be the same as yours <laughs> no, okay let's let's hear your opinion <laughs> then we'll let you What's up everyone? Welcome to the Z Gear podcast. It's great to have everybody joining us here today. We have a special guest, a person who is very familiar to the people in uh, motorsport. We have Mr. Gumbo in the studio. Mr. Gumbo, welcome to the Z Gear podcast. Thanks for having me. Yeah, great, great to have you here. And of course, the uh, familiar face now, uh, my co-host Sampa, Sampa. Why are you not welcoming me? I'm welcoming you to the podcast. Welcome. Thank, thank Welcome you for having the podcast. Me. Yeah, great. We also have uh, Sampa here with us uh, just to be able to bring, you know, his energy, his input into uh, what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, today, we're just going to be looking back at, uh, you know, ZMSA, just some of the history, uh, you know, Mr. Gumbo being part of uh, ZMSA. I know we touched a little bit on that in the last uh, session that we had with uh, Nick here. But it's just good to have Mr. Gumbo as, uh, you know, somebody who was a part of ZMSA just to be able to, you know, give us a bit more insight as to, you know, what it's like being a part of, uh, you know, that body. So, Mr. Gumbo, I think we can just get uh, straight into it. And, you know, you can give us just a brief history of how, you know, you got involved with ZMSA, where, um, you know, your journey started being a part of uh, ZMSA. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Patrick. Yes. Uh, first and foremost, I'd just love to make things so clear that actually I'm here sitting in a personal capacity okay. because I'm no longer the ZMSA Drug Drift and Spin Commissioner. I think we all know that the new person has been uh, appointed by the new uh, VIP Motorsport, that's Joe Zafari. Uh-huh. I'm just glad that um, that's my product. Yeah. I've uh, made Joe Zafari to who he is now in motorsport. And I can proudly say that he will do a good job and do a good job. Coming back to myself, um, first and foremost, um, I have been a motorsport enthusiast, I think, from my teens. It was from the Copa Bell, so when I came to Osaka, I happened to rub my shoulders with people like the late Muna Singh, and he saw rest in peace. He was a personal friend, together with his uh, elder brother, Rami. And I think we all know that that's the hub of motorsport in Zambia. So while I started there, I had this thing as his um, personal rally manager, I think for about two years or so. Then also we got involved with them with the organizing of rallies, mapping routes and things like that. To a point whereby I bought my first rally car from Paul Monch, which was a Nissan 110 VG30. I raced with it for, I think for a good two years. Then I thought of upgrading. Now, you know, upgrading without money is, is quite a challenge. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. I managed to buy a Go 4. I think that was 1980, what now? About 89, eight, somewhere there. Mm. I managed to acquire a Go 4. Uh, again, no funds. The way I've said, I think I've seen, you're still looking at how ZMSA can really help. Yeah. I can confess that uh, I requested through ZMSA actually, through Sakamala Sports Club to ZMSA to help me build that car, which they paid for my raw cash. I had to take that car to Zimbabwe. It was worked on, ZMSA paid for me. I raced with it, I think, for one year. The second year, I thought of retiring because I couldn't upgrade anymore because of the finances. So I thought, well, let me be just uh, get into a uh, admin as organizing events, mm-hmm. which I think worked on very well for me. I learned a lot from people like the late Mona Singh, Paul Monge, Rami Singh, even Guru Singh himself, I got knowledge from these people to a point whereby I could set up rallies. So uh, I'm a Sakamoto Sports Club member, and at one point, I think for two good terms, which is eight years, if I'm not mistaken. I was the vice president for Sagamoto Sports, which we call vice chairman. I was the mm. vice chairman, a chairman, that would be Charles Dakar. So we pushed, we organized the event, but I thought 
before I ran out of steam, I had to think of uh, also uh, grooming up some people. Mm-hmm. I think I won't mention names here, but uh, they are now. You and can the people easily are here. make rallies, run rallies. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, I'm so proud to say that, you know, there's a strong team behind which can do those jobs. So while I was uh, Sakamura Sports Club vice chairman and I was organizing rallies, yeah. um, I had an opportunity uh, to be um, Drug Drift and Spin Commissioner. I think uh, Uncle Sam, who's the ZMSA president even now, I call him Uncle Sam because, I mean, he's just a, like a family now. Mm. He told me, no, Ngumbo, you have to take up this role. Uh, it's, it's a new sport, which FIA has uh, approved now to be illegal uh, um, uh, uh, motorsport uh, uh, discipline. But it's a challenge, but you have to go in the deep end. Yes. So uh, Paul Monch, who was the rally commissioner by then, appointed me as um, drag, drift, and spin commissioner. Okay, what year was that? Uh, this must be good eight, ten years ago. Mm, okay. Yeah, somewhere there. So now the challenge I was given was you have to convince people from the streets, <coughs> get to the MSA, mm-hmm. affiliate, understand motorsport, and do it legally, not illegal. Yeah, okay. And so this this was coming from the fact that they could recognize that it was it would it had the potential to grow as a sport. Exactly. Or, yeah. Exactly. Or they were just trying to get people out of this doing it uh, from the streets. Actually, uh, uh, Patrick uh, Spin is a new sport. At the same time, it's a large sport. Mm, indeed. Yeah, it has been growing. Even the time people are doing it illegally. Yeah. We then MSA actually had the challenge because now there was this rights issue, phone calls, police. Said, okay, these people they love this sport. Mm-hmm. How do we embrace them? Yes. So all the ZMSA was thinking in those lines. Uh, FIA came on board. They said, guys, these people, they can go legit. So I remember two calling for the first meeting, I think at Levymore, uh-huh. where we called, I think, a Midnight uh, Club. It was uh, uh, Tino in Iran, and I think we called 335. By then there was not there was not three three five there was BMW, BMW Motorsport, Motorsport yes one, yes mm-hmm. one uh, club mm-hmm. I think we caught some few people here and there like Costa I remember I was there trying to explain to them what ZMSA wants mm-hmm. I can tell you Patrick it was a challenge yeah <laughs> a bit <laughs> right. they thought maybe it's me going crazy or I don't know what has happened yeah so I kept on knocking on their doors. As the MSA, we managed to have BMW Motorsports Club affiliated. Mm-hmm. Actually, it was the first club to be affiliated. Okay. So when we had BMW Motorsport on our side, we had now to fight and see if we can get Midnight Club. Uh, I think there's Techno Drift. Yes. Uh, there and is Nitro uh, Racing. So many clubs, I think, around. Mm-hmm which it was a, a big challenge. Wallace, we are trying to see if we can unite uh, these clubs and see if they can get affiliated. Mm-hmm. BMW Motorsports Club had to split. There was a rebirth now of uh, G335. Yeah. That was now Phil Mumba, James, Saro, uh, Kalinga, and other guys, they formed uh, 335. Mm-hmm. Again, we went back to them. One is we are trying to make them affiliate. ZMSA hiked the affiliation fees. Long yeah, before it okay. was 2,500, it came to 10,000. Uh-huh. We asked why, he said, no, no, no. One, we don't want a lot of clubs to mushroom. So we are trying to see if you can minimize clubs which are going to affiliate. Okay. This news was taken to uh, 335. Reluctantly, they said, we will affiliate. Mm-hmm. So I personally I had to help to put paperwork in place for them to affiliate, but okay. they had a challenge now with the monies. Okay, so sorry if I can ask, is that is that a way that um, you know it works with other um, you know kinds of motorsport like in rally 
or you know in motocross like do they use that sort of you know hiking of prices to just ensure that you have sort of uh, serious players you know doing affiliation rather than uh, just any gym and jack trying to affiliate or it's just something that came up with the drag drift and spin i don't know uh, actually i know uh, you need to understand this you see yeah. motocross four by four name all motorsports which are under ZMSA mm -hmm. that would nothing to do with affiliation. Affiliation okay. is predicted or played with in terms of adjustment, whether increasing or reducing, mm -hmm. by ZMSA itself. It's got the executive. Okay. So clubs you have yet to ZMSA. ZMSA is the mother body which runs all motorsports uh, 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 disciplines in Zambia. For example, I'll, I'll talk about football, the way it is with fans. Yes. You see, there's Inkana, there's Cowboy Warriors, there's Red Devils, the Forest Rangers. They all affiliate to Football Association of Zambia. Okay. So when you're affiliating as a club, you're simply saying you are now a bona fide of ZMSA. Okay. So after an affiliation, there's what we call renewal. You have to renew your affiliation every after one season, which is 12 months. Uh -huh. So now when it was hiked, it was hiked all clubs now, whether it can be motocross, it can be 4x4, four four, it can be drift, it can be spin, mm -hmm. whoever wants to affiliate must pay 10,000 to ZMSM after putting your paperwork in order, yes. which will be checked by your commissioner, then you apply to ZMSA, look, now we want to affiliate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the, the, the thought that comes to mind uh, for me you used the the expression they were trying to limit the number of clubs that would come up. I know for rally there's more than one club in inverted commas. Yes. Is it the same for other motorsport disciplines? Mm -hmm. Or for them they just all belong to one club? Or as an example, if I decided to register a new club for motocross. Is it something that I can easily do yeah. to participate um, in, in, in motocross as a practicing member of that particular discipline? Okay, thanks so much, Sabah. You see, uh, the, there's, a, there's a, a small difference between motocross and the rally, because motocross, they've got their own VIP motorsport, which is a VIP uh, uh, um, uh, or to do with cycling, they have got a VIP. In rally, they've got a guy called VIP Motorsport. So you find that some rules might be a bit different. Mm -hmm. So like in rally, if you have seen, there's only one club per province, which is doing rally. Like here in Lusaka, we have Lusaka Motorsports Club. Mm -hmm. okay. Monze, we have Monze Motorsports Club. Ndola, we have Ndola Motorsports Club and Chingola. But motocross, you find that there's MCC, there are some guys in Fringilla, there are some guys where, you see. So now, why ZMSA came with that policy? They looked at how many spin clubs do we have in Osaka. Mm -hmm. Out of my head, it's more than 10. Yes. They said, why can't these people just join hands? Maybe one or two clubs. Yeah. Which was a big challenge because, like I've said, I've been with spinners for a very long time. <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. And to me, I don't blame them. It's something new. Mm -hmm. And they need to understand the do's and the don'ts. Mm -hmm. Because uh, right now, I'm not trying to shoot anyone or make somebody not like they're doing the job. I can tell you that spinning in Zambia has been hosting events without ZMSA national regulations. Mm. Okay. When I was a commissioner, I threw it to the clubs. Mm -hmm. Can you come up with ideas whereby we can come up with a document, which is national regulations. Mm -hmm. Then from there, you can extract what we call supplementary regulation for every event. Mm -hmm. But your mother document should be national regulation document. Up to now, that document has been something. Can, can you give us an example of national regulations, let's say for rally, because rally has been in Zambia. I was born and I found it. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. <laughs> Same with, um, yeah. 
So it's been in the country for a very long time. Yes. And slowly uh, it has sort of adapted and aligned itself with the progression yes. of, um, of this sport worldwide. Yes. What are some of those uh, national regulations? As an example that you, you can say well, in rally, they have this uh, and this and this, and then supplementary regulations are this and this. Okay. Um, very interesting and uh, very challenging questions. But I can <laughs> I can explain and let's hope I'll make you understand. Okay. okay. You see, um, to start with, any sport, not just about rally, yeah, it can be basketball, rugby, name it. There must be rules. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when you make these rules, they must be enshrined in the national document. Yes. What I'm trying to say is that, um, like rally. I know you always talk about, I want to refer to rally, which again, other districts don't like. No, right, all the time, Mr. Kumar talking about I think it's the... But it's the thing which can really guide us properly. Yes, yes especially the, 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 the viewers of this podcast. Yes. Um, it's the one thing they relate to. Yes. The, it, not all of us can... Uh, I mean, I was explaining to Patrick last time that motocross <laughs> is actually something that is quite big. Yeah. But not all of us easily understand... understand yeah. Um, yeah. Compared to, because rally is one thing I think, um, other than spin and drift, yes. is one thing that really pulls a crowd. Exactly. Uh, when, mm -hmm. when there's a rally event, I think we all come and eat soil at the, yeah, at the yeah, special yeah, stage. Yeah. Yeah. So dust. I think it's relatable. But as we are going, we are hoping that with this podcast, we can shine more light on every single discipline that is okay. available and competitive in Zambia. Uh, okay. Yes. So you see, Sampa, um, national regulation document. It's not an easy document to come up with, uh -huh. to start with, yeah. because it's a legal document. <coughs> it's binded, uh -huh. and you know it, run, it runs really parallel with the, the ro uh, laws of the country. Uh -huh. I'll give you a practical example. A rally car, if they are racing, they race on closed circuit, uh -huh. which is a normally farmland belonging to an, an individual it can be government it can be a cooperative yeah so if they are running in this stage in, on this farm they're doing one stage and showing them that they are going to do another stage after 50 kilometers which means the 50 kilometer they'll be running on a gazetted roads mm -hmm. whether gravel or dirt yes as long as a gazette like here maybe they are running from chaminoka another stage maybe it's airport. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you use airport road to cross over. Uh, so okay. once the rally car is on that road, the rally driver and the navigator are compiled to behave just like any other motorist. Okay. If you mm -hmm. say speed limit 60, you have to drive 60. In an event that you find the checkpoint, you'll be stopped. And they'll check for road lines. This is while a race is going sure. on. Yes. On their way to the second stage. Because you're on the transport. Stage, yes. oh. the second stage. Okay, okay, okay. You, uh -huh. There's no preference or privilege or advantage. Yes. You just find a checkpoint. You, you just go, go you yeah. Left, you what you saw, mm. you go, no. <laughs> yeah. you, you're going to comply and behave like any other motorist. Mm. Okay. Because you're a road for, user. Yes. Yes. You're the driving on a road. They can ask you for a road driver's license. Mm. You, have, you have to prove. Yes. Insurance. Sonko, what everything the car is on with brake light water of mm. course go that's why we give them ample time it can be a 50k distance but yeah. it will take you one hour in an event that you are stopped and things like that mm -hmm. so in an event that this driver does not comply to this he is subjected to a penalty or disqualification it can be, yes it depends what the regulations can be a fine penalty of cash yeah. time penalty or a dq so okay. now when you come to spinning uh -huh. I, as i'm saying i'm not trying to shoot <laughs> no of course yeah. you just have to understand when you come to spinning if such such a thing happens how do you penalize uh -huh. where are you drawing your powers from so usually you have been using supplementary regs and supplementary regs are extracted from national regulations of course so in an event that we've got a mission whereby okay now we're in court there's a problem uh -huh. okay spin we have this issue now we're in court can you tell us why you are doing it? No, we are allowed. Can we look at your national regulations? Mm -hmm. have nothing to prove. So to me, I would urge that uh, this document must be enshrined. 
make sure it's approved by ZMSA so that you stand on the firm ground. Mm-hmm. That's what I can say on that one. And again, coming to clubs, it, it's, it's still a good thing that, you know, people they should be legal. Yes. It, it shouldn't be somebody, you can't do this, me, I can do it. No. Everyone okay. should. You see, Zambia is for everyone. So it's very important that other clubs who are, which are not affiliated, they should make an effort to affiliate so that they can enjoy their sport freely. 100%. I, yeah. I, I have a very, I, I don't want to call it uh, um, controversial, yes. uh, <laughs> but it, it's something to do with uh, national regulations and supplementary uh, regulations. Yes. Um, if, for example, my son is 10 years old mm. and he can spin a car. Yes. As it is right now, he can't. It's illegal because he can't drive. He doesn't have a driver's license. Yeah. yeah. That. Because this is coming from when we've gone for scrutineering mm-hmm. and we've submitted the names. Okay, um, Patrick will be racing the Honda Prelude. Mm-hmm. Some of the <laughs> questions we've been asked is, can I see your driver's license? Yes. yes. What happens to... to to unlicensed competitors, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is there a a provision currently? I'm assuming if we're doing rally or motor, motor let's, let's, let's talk about speed. Let's talk about speed. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, is there a provision within ZMSA that allows unlicensed competitors? Nice one, sir. Mm. Like I said. Mm-hmm. You need to have national regulations yeah. to guide your sport. Okay. Mm-hmm. So if you make your, your regulations, because when you're making regulations, it should be all clubs to come together. Yes. You make a book which will go to clubs. You, you submit your, your your input. Okay. Then uh, the, there will be a committee which will be formed. Okay, this we can enshrine. Right. This is not okay. This we can enshrine. So mm-hmm. that loop we are talking about, I can, I can call it a loophole. Even in rally, it was there. So we put our heads together. Again, I'll talk about, like, for example, Riri Sai. I think you all know he's underage, he's got no other races. Yes. Mm-hmm. So there's a system we had put in place, and the boy has enjoyed, I think, is it two seasons or three seasons? Yeah. So even in spin, if you, you've got underage people, first and foremost, we should look at uh, legal implications. Okay. In an event that this boy is spinning, mm-hmm makes an accident what happens mm-hmm. okay so you must close those loopholes so again what i can say is it's a pity my uh, successor joseph barry is not here but i think it's something i can share with him mm-hmm. that you know it's a way forward 100 percent. you can put a close okay whereby he talks about underage which is junior okay those who don't have a Driver's license. Driver's license. Because, like in rally, it's in black and white that you must have a national driver's license and a ZMSA competition license Mm -hmm. for you to participate. Okay, so what we did in rally is that uh, we said, we spoke first to RATS, who have always given us a waiver for underage, but we must apply for that waiver. Mm-hmm. And also, either guardians or parents must mm-hmm. sign consent, on that yeah. consent that you know, in an event that something happens, we'll take responsibility. Mm-hmm. And all what the government has told us that these uh, unlicensed drivers in rally, they can't drive on public roads. On deserted roads, of course. Yeah. So now, what we have done is that the navigator must be a licensed person. Mm-hmm. So in the doing on a closed circuit, the young girl or young man is driving. Finishing the stage, going to another stage, so long they're going on Gazette Road, the navigator takes charge. No, okay. You see, so now you people, when you're doing your spinning, remember where you're spinning from normally is a private land. Mm-hmm. You don't spin from the Gazette Road. Yes. No. So if only you can put that provision saying that if you're bringing your spin car, licensed driver will bring it up mm-hmm. to a point where you're spinning, then now the young person can spin Mm -hmm. but it must be in your regulations yes in an event that something happens you'll be able to be backed up by regulations Mm -hmm. there's there's a word i like to tell patrick 
And yes. he doesn't like me saying it. Uh-huh. Which <laughs> so way is it? Structure. Right? Structure. Yes. <laughs> Who the end of the structure? Yeah. <laughs> I think mm-hmm. you see but I think that's what that's what you that's what you're trying to say you've been trying to push with the spinners you know, to, to, have, to have some um, structure. Uh, you see Patrick um uh, to start with first and foremost again I would love to thank your platform mm. that you know uh we will be able to air our views yes whereby people can learn more 100% because I'll tell you like affiliated clubs the years I've been there there is nothing I haven't shared with them. Mm-hmm. But now it's them to let it trickle to their members. 100%. Mm-hmm. Okay, members must understand all oh, these are the dots and the dots. Yes. Okay. Then again like I have said like for myself in my retirement times now mm-hmm. I would really love to see a lot of legal clubs mushrooming. Mm-hmm. This brings competition. 100%. Okay. Okay, on, again, on, just on that on sorry on that point <laughs> before I forget my thoughts. <laughs> I'm just thinking because um, I want to sort of uh, you know look from the the eyes of a spinner, right? Mm-hmm. Because I think some of the challenges that the spinners have shared um, with me, I think in some of the, the meetings that we had before the last competitions, yes. you know, some of the requirements you know come with the the costs that are there, right? But I look at um, you know you said it's the same thing in rally, it's the same thing in motocross, but I f- I f- kind of feel like these are established bodies. And as far as sponsorship, most of them, um, you know, are well well backed. If I can, if I can put it like that, you understand. But for for the spinners, a lot of them are, are not coming from you know a place where it's easy to pay some of these fees. You know, like even for affiliation, to put um, ten thousand together. You know, it, it can be quite difficult for for these clubs because there's there's nowhere where they are going to replace that money. You get what I mean? Some of these competitions, they might. Or, or these shows, they might come out and just make three thousand, you know, just the bare minimum to just get the cars there and do whatever they need to do. Okay. So, so I don't know if there's a way that, you know, instead of pulling from, you know, rally and motocross, if there's a way that we can accommodate, um, you know, spinners in the sense that, you know, not all of them, and I think a lot of them, are not financially, you know, capable of meeting some of these. Um, like which one? Which one in the challenge? I want. To, <laughs> I, want I don't no, want to put no, anyone. No, 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 on. no, no I, I, I think. Challenge. I think. Patrick, what, what is the challenge with the spinners? Which, yeah, uh, which financial challenge? Uh, challenges mm. are they having? No, I mean even uh, look as as far as as far as I was concerned, some of the fees were, were looked okay to me, but you know people complained about like the comp license, which I think was uh, uh, something like what five hundred kwacha. Yes, and uh, um, yeah, some different different things. But it, 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 as far as I'm concerned, it wasn't big amounts. But they came out like it was big amounts. So that's what I was just trying to say, like from the perspective of um, the spinners, mm-hmm. you know, is there a way to to bring those costs down to accommodate, or you know, it's is that my question? I, I suppose it's your question. Yes, <laughs> I think um, I, I have. What, opinion, just what are your thoughts? Yeah, but I think my opinion might be the same as yours. <laughs> no, okay, let's let's hear your opinion. <laughs> then we'll let Mr. Opinion. Coombs, the, you know, th- um, yeah, throw in his I, thoughts. I I I think um, first and foremost, mm. um, in my opinion, for FIA to recognize, especially spin. Drag and drift have been recognized for a long time now mm-hmm. uh, because these are things that have been happening in the entire world. I mean, especially drift now is, is filling up stadiums, right? Yes, yes. But for FIA to recognize it, it means they see its potential in providing an alternative source of income to competitors. I think I can put it like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think as the sport grows and proper structures are put in place to allow the sport to as mr gumbo said he wants to see more and more clubs Mm -hmm. uh, participating in this particular discipline clubs have to pay a application fee and obviously their members will then need a competition license i think a competition license is valid for a year yes or is it per event you can you can do um, payment, right? You see, oh. like I've said, mm. to me, spinners are like my kids. <laughs> <You understand? laughs> yes. Even when you give them meat, okay, you 
this, this, no other. This <laughs> 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 There's no problem, man. Yeah. You see, Patrick, mm. for example, you talk about comp license, yes. 500. Mm-hmm. You say, literally or deliberately, under my commission, the time I was in, heading it, we did it deliberately. Mm-hmm. 500 per event. Mm-hmm. Do you know that there was a provision to pay 500 for one season? But they didn't want. And even that was complained, they complained about that as well. You see, <laughs> but if you look at it, you pay 500 one off, yes. full season, you should look at how that comp license is going to help you. Yes. Mm-hmm. Again, I'll go back. I know people don't like talking about <coughs> facts. I'll talk about um, NASDAQ. Mm-hmm. They said we had. Oh, yes. That guy in court, if that asked him, were you authorized to do this thing, what you are doing? Uh-huh. Yes, I was authorized. Sure. Proof. Mm. Had no proof. Mm-hmm. Your proof is the comp license. Do you know the figures which are coming up to finish that case? It's a lot of money. Yeah. To a point where, but if you've got no comp license, even if you've got national driver's license, which means ZMSA hasn't authorized you to spin and doing it illegally. Mm-hmm. So here is the issue. You pay your 300 or your 500 per 12 months. Yes. You can spin whenever there is an event. Even your cover note is backed up. For when insurance. the insurance cover note is there and the spinner happened to be in a situation, yes. he's got no comp license. They say thank you. Yeah. You're out of this. Uh-huh. You get my point. Yes. yes. So we're saying you got your cover note. Why do you want to make a shortcut? So the five hundred, they're saying it was too much. Or I don't know. To me, I feel it's just a crybaby thing because this five hundred will save us a lot. Yeah. They can make. I don't know how the commissioner will look at it. Maybe they'll reduce or whatever. Because uh, that compliance you have, I'll give an example. I've seen spinners going out of the country to go and spin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We encourage them to do an international comp license. You can upgrade. Mm-hmm. You get a local comp license. It's like driver's ZMSA license. also provides the same yes. international. You, you tell ZMSA, I'm going to spin in South Africa. Yeah. They'll know he needs an international comp license. Mm-hmm. In an event that you're in ASA, you're in Zimbabwe, in Botswana, there are things happening. Yeah. You've got that international comp license. Mm-hmm. But again, spinners, I don't know why they find it difficult. Mm-hmm. Then we spoke up, we spoke about the ten thousand being too much. Yeah. I think when I'm speaking about three three five, if three three five <coughs> they're honest, they only paid half. Mm-hmm. Half of it our commissioner sourced for them mm-hmm. to clear the ten thousand. So again, that is a plus for them. Yeah. On top of that, all clubs who have cried about the 10,000 under our commission, we gave them free events to run, yeah. to raise money and affiliate. Uh-huh. I can point at Zedgia. Uh-huh. I can point at Mfurida people, the Palapak. Yes, Palapak. Palapak, in fact, two events, uh-huh. which clubs, uh, affiliated clubs complained. No, why you give them Palapak events? Well, no, no, we are trying to help them raise money. Raise money, yes. Kitwe is a drive club. Mm-hmm. We yes. give them an event under our uh, administration to see mm. if they can raise money and they have it. Mm-hmm. Funny enough, even after doing that, these clubs came to our commission wanting to host the whole event. Mm-hmm. With, without the affiliation. Without the affiliation. <laughs> One was that gear. <laughs> and I told them openly, I cannot give you another event. Yeah. You raised the money. So mm-hmm. affiliate. Now affiliate. Yeah. Okay. In Florida, I did the same thing. This uh, drive club, they came again. Mm-hmm. No, we want an event on a New Year's Eve. We said to start with, we don't do events like that. Mm-hmm. New Year's Eve, Christmas Eve, those are meant for family days and things like that. Big holidays. Very misses calendars by then. Yeah. Post. Paperwork. Z gear we helped with paperwork. Yes. I, I don't know what has happened. Palapak, we helped with paperwork. Uh, Drive Club, we helped with paperwork. Guidance, all this, put this like this, this now you can affiliate to this like this, like this. Uh-huh. Nothing. So why are they not affiliated? 
in their thinking. Guess, I don't know. Is it a, maybe it's a mentality issue? Yeah, like mentality. it's just <laughs> you see, like just not case, seeing um, the importance of you know the whole <laughs> affiliation yeah, <laughs> process. Like, you know, the uh, all along the way. You know, once you affiliate, then mm. so take advantage to come and control your work. No, then mm. so will never do that. Yeah, yeah. The they, only thing then so would want when you affiliate one, your accounts must be in order. Mm-hmm. But they won't say give us the money. You must remit. You must explain you've taken money from the sponsor. How oh, have you used it? Yes. So it could be though could be the reason why people don't want to affiliate. Mm-hmm. You're going to make your own money, but at the end of the season, which is end of the year, mm-hmm. you must submit your accounts, your reports, how many events you have had, how many money monies you got from the sponsors. How does much does the message get um percentage from events hosted or no. okay what is the the essence of us having had an event and then now we must share the accounts the accounts with ZMSA. what what is the essence yes what is the purpose that zmsa wants to okay. see uh, i'll tell you a blunt point is to see one if you are managing your club as per your constitution because your own club will go to the constitution. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay? So you must manage your club as per your constitution. Because your constitution demands that you must unveil your running of your events mm-hmm. at the end of the year to your members. Mm-hmm. So now, only ZMSA can speak on behalf of your members. Can we see? Mm-hmm. They do show this to your people. Do they know? Yes, they know. No problem. Uh-huh. Even when you've got your own meeting, like an AGM of the club, elective AGM. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to invite ZMSA under your commission. Oh, when a commissioner, we've got an AGM. Even if the commissioner doesn't come, he will send a representative to say that your election were fair. Free yes. and fair. And okay. fair, yeah. Not, fair not and fair. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's where ZMSA will step in. Mm-hmm. Even about the compliance. Yeah. ZMSA comes in when I would say a, a competitor. Yeah. It can be more across they have ablogated. They have misbehaved to a point where ZMSA feels they want to withdraw the complaints. Yeah, okay. So when they withdraw a complaints, you can't compete. You can't compete. Yeah. You see, but yeah. withdraw, it must be something big which you have done. Yes. Even rally drivers, they are compared to that. They yeah. are not about the law. So, again, I know when you're asking Patrick in your question, still people feel that ZMSA gets money to give to his rally drive. No. There's nothing like that. I'll tell you, motorsport is a sport of ornaments. Mm-hmm. You race, you achieve your trophies. 100%. Yes. You have trophies, you go display them in your house. That's your happiness. Mm-hmm. You can tell now your wife, your children, your great grandchildren. Yes. No, get you this trophy. This in the land. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so there is no money involved. Mm. But if you want to race for money, you must become a works competitor. Mm. Either Toyota picks you up to drift with the Toyota, or Ford picks you up to drift with the Ford. Now mm. you, you are, you are, you are, you are a, what we call a works competitor. Mm. Yes. They'll do everything for you and you do it for money. Mm. And that only comes from Starting from somewhere. Yes. Uh-huh. Affiliation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. No, I just think that it's 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 um it's a bit like taking you know somebody who's a tamanga and trying to put them in the corporate world. You yeah. know what I mean? So it it it, it, it if takes you want to a talk lot. About to, me, Patrick, just talk about <laughs> it takes a lot. Yeah, you know, it takes a lot to get people to to get into that mindset because even like Sampa was saying, you know, to submit your books and whatnot. Because me, for me, I just see it as you know these guys who host a show. Mm. And it will just be a few of them who will count the money and split and move on. And move on no, you know like, what I mean? Like I've said, but you guys don't want to how, go how through. You spend your money which you make from whether it's okay taking or whatever. Yes. ZMSA has got no interest. Like they said, give us something. It's up to you. Uh, you, you understand? It. Yes. It's not even up to you. I just want to say that there's transparency and you are following your constitution, own, uh, club constitution. Mm-hmm. You see? So you have to declare. Yes. I suppose it makes sense. Yeah, yeah it does. Declare, yeah. yeah. Okay. So then another thing I wanted to is that talk, the next question? Yes. Yeah, yes. Okay. Yes. So yes. just to talk a bit about promoting 
um, you know, motorsport. I don't, I don't know how or what role ZMSA plays in promoting motorsport or if that's even, you know, part of one of the things that ZMSA is supposed to do, you know, as far as getting the word out there about our rally drivers or motocross drivers, um, you know, we are, uh, we're talking about spin as well. So, you know, spin drivers, does ZMSA also, you know, play a role in promoting the motorsports uh, themselves to, you know, international levels or that's you know mainly for the teams to you know and the drivers to sort of put themselves out there uh thank you so much again patrick yeah. again now I, I will just put a reminder and just uh, a refresher that i'm here in a hey, yes yes i'm representing myself mm. uh, with the little knowledge that i have mm. about motorsport in general but I'll, I'll tell you, ZMSA is a government entity. Mm -hmm. It's not a private entity, but you might not look at it like that, but it is. That's why even in motorsport, there are a lot of incentives mm -hmm. which can encourage motocross, rally people, drag, name them. It's just that people, I could see, I don't know what's lack of a better word they're ignorant about it yes yeah. maybe that's the word i'm looking at why do i say that uh again there are a few people i don't want to mention names here apart from clubs which are affiliated which when i was a commissioner i really labored to explain mm -hmm. and luckily i think of late i'll mention one name without um, uh, fear or favor. I think Salim Muhammad wanted mm -hmm. to be part of you. Yes. He opened his eyes and he saw what he has been missing. One, I don't know why spinners, they go out of the country, buy a spin car and pay duty. Mm. To me, it's just a waste of money. There is a, a limit for you to have a duty free vehicle. For a competition. Can you get my point? Mm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Even I know that. Yeah. So that's all they're missing. Mm. The weight and people who push this thing is right, but uh, spilled over to other motorsport yes. disciplines. Mm. Even these motocross guys who jump with bikes and what they don't pay to it for those bikes. Okay. And you see, like in in in, in uh, motocross, you've had one rider maybe it's got four bikes because of different classes. Mm -hmm. Maybe doing does a two fifty cc, does a whatever, four yes. bikes under one belt. Duty All those free. bikes are duty free. Ah. On top of that, I've seen spinners blowing up motors, panicking. <coughs> You're also entitled to bringing spinning parts for free. Serious? Yes. <laughs> but people, they shun because they think it's a song and their message cannot do it. Mm. But I can tell you, Patrick, it can be done. I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> why did you tell us? <laughs> so, like you're saying, we've, we've, this discussion, I think, I, I remember what he's talking about. Levy, how many years ago is that? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's... So, you know, yeah. how you uh, benefit from that, you don't just have to be a Mr. Gumbo in the street who wants to bring a drift car, he wants to bring a rally car. Uh -huh. You must belong to an affiliated club. club yes. So in an affiliated club, if you belong to that, you want to import that your club on letterhead, they will apply to ZMSA. Mm. Mr. So 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 is our member, what 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 he wants to bring in a spin vehicle. Mm -hmm. Or they will tell you, agreed, import the vehicle, but when you import the vehicle, all the document must be in ZMSA's name. Mm -hmm. You will be the second owner absolutely for ZMSA, because it will be on Red Book. Mm -hmm. When this vehicle is in at the border, you don't even have to hustle. Yes. ZMSA has its own current agent. He will run around with the Minister of Finance. They will put, give them a ribbon number and oh, everything, yes. take to mm -hmm. ZRA, your car will be in. Mm -hmm. But now, this car is not meant for business for you to sell. You must yes. spin it. If you want one to see it, it's that shown his couch. I think it's shown into the couch. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Just being washed, <laughs> two minutes is at home, just chilling. Mm. Then they say, now we'll get one right. Mm. So they're not using it for no, the intended purpose. For intended purpose. Yes. So, like again in Rally, we had put a clause whereby if those 
uh, years happen to expire now we can get a white book mm-hmm. or you want to sell it first you ask within the community the community those mm-hmm. people who are racing oh okay. brother i want to upgrade you want the car sell it to your friend yeah so I, now again it's up to you spinning to mm-hmm. make that arrangement yes I, you see so all those are benefits it spills over now to government government knows about this mm-hmm. they have seen people they struggle to bring in uh, racing equipment yes high performance yeah. equipment this is the way we can help them but now my question is those people who are not affiliated or who belong to affiliated clubs and their executive is not spilling over this people, information yes do you think those enemies is a good thing no no yeah that, that, that is the purpose of the the podcast actually mm-hmm. yes. we want to spill that information from yes. as many sources as possible yes so that the people who are listening can compare what they've heard the rumors and mm-hmm. come up with a fact of yes. relating to a particular matter they know so i know that you are trying to hit the point like you know even in terms of sponsorship you see an individual to come to auto select i'm a spinner i want sponsorship there's an event i want to get thousand kwacha auto select who doubt is this guy genuine how is he going to fly our name high by giving me the thousand mm-hmm. what are we going to benefit so again you see for you to start knocking on doors first perform when you perform there's a wait like now somebody comes here oh there's jericho now we don't know jericho, what jericho can do yes there is uh, it was mm-hmm. you know what was can do there is a uh, fat cat mm-hmm. zambia they know what fat cat can do there is uh, so many guys yes but you see now when they see oh this boy can this guy can perform they are ready to put their money, money down. down yeah but even if as an individual you get money from a company don't just pocket and forget mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you use that money for required purposes mm-hmm. even after the event go back to the company which gave me the 30000 auto select you gave me 30000 to start with this is a this trophy mm-hmm. uh, this is my expense mm-hmm. my car gave me these problems this is so what we need to do better mm-hmm. we need to work on this one. Mm-hmm. Auto select will see you get good results. Yes. Now I'm auto select. I give you thirty thousand. The next thing I see you Monday you chilling. <laughs> no Activity report even, saying what? Right. No yeah. Report, no uh, even if it's your own money, I'm saying, ah, this money goes in my bank. Yes. 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 Spending it. Yeah. Even if I had a, a bad day, I would rather talk to auto select. You give me thirty ping. We blow them out. Yes. So mm-hmm. Paulo Alex, he feels that I can give them mileage. They'll ask me, Mr. Gumbo, this same engine is giving you problems. How much is it to buy? Mm-hmm. No, the engine is thirty thousand from South Africa. Let's go for it. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, buy, but uh, no duty. Then I may say, oh, sort out, sort out. Mm-hmm. Was Paulo Alex complaining? No, no, no. no, no. Transparency. Yeah. You see how it is. Yeah. No, I think that, that what I'm getting from you is is that. The drivers need to get to a point where they take this thing serious enough, yes. you know, yes. because I think it's one thing to be running the like a tamanga, like I was saying, you know, <laughs> <laughs> just doing things haphazard and you know not reporting and whatnot. But I think the more that the drivers actually take themselves serious in that sense, you know, being able to report back uh, whether it's to ZMSA or to sponsors, yeah. then definitely it will it will be worth it all these to my fees that they are paying and stuff like that if you if you're doing your events properly you're calculating things yes. and it's showing Absolutely. that you're making yeah. a profit you're not wasting your time then all the fees and stuff you know they so like you know what yeah. if like the first drug we had mm-hmm. do you know that today that five series people can see it they can sponsor it the bill mm-hmm. that you cut the other wagon yes mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah yeah they did they performed mm-hmm. and they have been looking forward to see it again Mm-hmm. So if this owner now can go even to Pilatus today, mm-hmm. post this is my performance, this is my problem. Why not? Mm-hmm. And I can still give it a challenge. If he can't manage, I can pilot it. Mm-hmm. I can push it. Mm-hmm. You understand? We know which doors to knock at because we've got evidence. Yes. You get my point. Mm-hmm. I said, Ah, you get my point. Hundred mm-hmm. percent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this what I'm trying to say. So yes. another boy I can talk about 
there's a boy from is it uh Square here this area? He's got a he's the name he had like a three series got blue one. Oh Kuzwa Kuzwa yo the short man yes <laughs> yeah see, no these yeah. are the things people they want to see he tried but yes. he couldn't just cause other machines were better than him mm-hmm. so if Kuzwa can go out there and say I'm Kuzwa this is my performance what 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 you get a kickback uh-huh. But people uh-huh. you doubt, you think, you know, it's just meant for rally. Stone. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where do so, this yeah. Mm. You know, this is a, actually a perfect segue into my next question. Mm. If you woke up one day dreaming of motorsport in Zambia, what would that, what does that dream look like? For you, what would convince you and say, okay, now Zambian motorsport, we are at that level that, uh, would be recognized by others like like the way rally did in fact it still does for zambia it's yeah. mm. for me um it's one motorsport that has you you can point at and say okay yeah it is the one particularly <laughs> one to as rally mm. uh, zambian mm. rally so now when you say motor we're talking about speed all yes. disciplines mm. all, all disciplines what is what is the ideal motorsport uh, environment in zambia for you what does that look um uh, thanks again for the tough question <laughs> i still digest it i think and try to guide and uh, give facts mm-hmm. you see um one where we are sitting now in terms of motorsport mm-hmm. i could say it's a uh, it's an achievement from where i've come from mm-hmm. fine the challenge we have now first and foremost is the economy Mm. It's hard for everyone. Yes, yes. That's why things have stalled. Again, I'll refer to rally. I think you have seen now number of cars racing have dropped. Yes. But if you go in the workshops now, you count thirty cars, thirty five cars. Mm-hmm. Okay. Same happened to other disciplines. Equipment is there, but it's the economy. Secondly, we do not. We do not. We don't have a proper environment in terms of. Um, a hub. When I say a hub, I'm talking about one place where you can have rally, yes. you can have speed, you can have drag race. You, can, you know, it's just one place where uh-huh. it's not across. So we need that arena. So if only government can say, okay, we have identified land. This land is meant for motorsport. Uh-huh. Let's have all disciplines at one place where there are terraces, safety measures proper, mm-hmm. bathrooms, there's food, people can come with the kids, jumping yes. castles, swimming pool, name it. You know, it, it, it's, it's proper, a properly meant racing place. I would say that would be a very good uh, step, whereby now even international performers it can come to sure yeah. uh-huh. so, uh, yes. so one good example, again, I'm not trying to shoot at anyone, spinning pads. To me, these, I would call them makeshifts. Mm-hmm. It's just for things to happen. Mm-hmm. But they're not to the T. Mm-hmm. The space is not there. Okay? Uh, safety is there, but not to the standards. Mm. So if you look at even the simple requirements which are there, which again our office had drafted and is still there with people are trying to follow, we don't even do half of the requirements there. From my head, I can tell you, under our commission, the requirements we had left, you're supposed to have a three batting row uh-huh. before spectators and apart four meters. We do a banting with tires, four meters. Uh-huh. Banting, four meters. Or that's 12 meters uh-huh. before you get to the spectators. And there must be proper barricaders. Yes which is going to stop a car going to people. Mm-hmm. But if you look at it, which spin pad has got those things? Mm-hmm. It's because it's, uh, you don't have enough government really hasn't moved. You need government to make this. Of course, place. yes, mm-hmm. they need to. But obviously, you know how, how some of these things are. Mm-hmm. When something becomes, starts becoming popular, mm-hmm. then it gets, starts getting the attention of the government. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. but uh, I'll tell you, again, for you to have a spin pad, a professional spin pad, a race track for drag race, the quarter mile, and everything. Mm. Government can come in, but there are two 
international bodies which can help as FIA mm-hmm. and FIM. FIM is about motocross. So I've heard people talk about grant money is what I don't even understand how this grant money comes in. How grant money comes in, for example, I was spoken about drifting or spinning rather. Yes. They say no, we don't have the proper space. Okay? Affiliated club can lobby to FIA through ZMS. We have the defined land, this is going to do, these are the costs, give mm-hmm. it to ZMSA. ZMSA, if they see it's worth it, these people that are affiliated, they do this thing, they need this thing, they will lobby on FIA. Mm-hmm. FIA will send people to do the quantity things and everything, yes. and FIA will pay. So now, <coughs> since there's motorbikes and cars, which means FIA and FIM will come together. Mm-hmm. Why do I say, does it happen? Yes, I'll talk about rally. Those clocks were using a drag there. Uh-huh. If I bought for ZMSA a lot of euros, very expensive equipment. Yes. Uh-huh. You understand? But when we cried in rally circles, no, we're having issues with time, so everything, and okay, approve the grant. The only thing, this money is approved, don't think a commissioner will put in his pocket. Uh-huh. That money will come in ZMSA account. And the purchasing office for ZMS FI equipment is in South Africa. You will just get your quotations where you have seen your equipment. You yes. send your quotation to South Africa. South Africa will have a look at it, communicate with FIA. The money will come in ZMS account and sit, untouchable. Mm-hmm. When you find the equipment, they will tell you ZMS send this money to. Uh, this company for Patrick in Australia or South Africa mm, to get the equipment. The yeah. equipment will come. FIA will send again people to come and teach you how to run that equipment, mm-hmm. how to look after it, how to service it. There will be a seminar to mm-hmm. teach people how to do that. Okay. That's how grants work. It's not a grant I saw some some post people club. No. They were given <laughs> money. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work. Yeah. So all this to me is lack of knowledge. Yeah. And at the same time, I feel sad that people that have failed to learn for over ten years. Mm-hmm. We have sung a song until we have lost voices. Mm-hmm. Again, if only clubs can affiliate, it will be an advantage. Mm-hmm. Then, uh, in terms of what, I think for this season, um, reluctantly. Because I'm out of active administration, mm. I feel like I should take a back row. But people who want guidance and still and yes. doors are open. Even to be given a job, Mr. Kumba, today you want to be a marshal. Mm-hmm. If you are lacking marshals, I'm ready to help. But my weight will be more on drag race. Because drag race, I think, uh, soccer bikers, they need more support. Indeed. They came into our pockets, seek for guidance, which we have done. And I'm not trying to blow a trumpet from them. I think they've done a recommendable job at mm-hmm. a small club. That's why you saw all their drug recipients, they were under my commission. Because by then, they had no commission. Mm-hmm. By then, they had no regulations. But through guidance and advice, they have got their own commission now, which is Ruben. Mm-hmm. He's a commissioner for motorcycle drag race. Yes. Okay, so they will have their own drag race. Again, with guidance and being humble and have a listening ear, I can tell you that we have enshrined national regulations for them. The book is there, the regulations mm-hmm. are there. So, which means your next drag race, it will need to have a national champion mm-hmm. not off one event because now they have a calendar to run yes and they have a national regulations so they will be getting regulated supplementary regs from their national regulations which means that with the national regulations they back up and there is a regulations under their FIM, which is international regulations yes mm-hmm. so this thing they move three you have international regulations your national, national regulations your and supplementary regs. Okay. Why the move three? It's an event when your national supplementary regs cannot solve a problem. 
you jump to what the national regulations say. Yes. If national regulation cannot solve, you go to international regulations. Mm -hmm. So we, will, I will give hundred and ten percent import mm -hmm. to soccer bikers for them to host their events for the season successfully and pick up a champion. Then I can say, okay, now you can run. Mm -hmm. All right. No, thanks, Mr. Gumbo. <laughs> thanks a lot for giving us, uh, you know, all this insight into, you know, just your experience leading uh, ZMSA, you know, giving the advice to the spinners. And yeah, whether it's drag, drift, spin, this year, I think we're going to look forward to, you know, just some good events, everybody just doing things the right way and, you know, being able to see the, the Zambian motorsport grow at the end of the day. But uh, yeah, thank you everyone for joining us today. It has been uh, Sampa Chisulo, Mr. Patrick, and Mr. Gumbo here. And yeah, I hope everybody learned something today. Remember to like, follow, uh, and depending on where you're, whether you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube, uh, you can subscribe as well. Thank you so much for listening, and goodbye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Cheers.